kind of a, a brisk day in fall. The fall colors are out. The park is gorgeous right now. And um, I'm set up to paint. I'm gonna paint this scene right before me. It's this path, this beautiful um, autumn tree in front, it might be a maple. And, um, and there's a little bit of path there and some, or some great old street lamps from Prospect Park. So we'll see how I do. I chose this scene for the beautiful uh, structure, the lamp posts, the trees, um, obviously the color, but also the patterns of light and dark from top to bottom, light and darks. So I'm set up with my new easel today. It's an oil painting and watercolor easel in plein air pro. Um, and my oil paints, which I've got a mix of cools and warms and um, just a small selection of brushes today. So I'm still waiting for the sun to come out, but um, in the meantime, I've just blocked in a very kind of a background. It's like I'm toning this canvas right now. Um, and I was picking out um, just generalized colors. I'm going to go ahead and block it in with my, with some line work, a really loose sketch. Here I've masked in large areas of color, the reds, greens, that distant blue in the background. Um, and uh, the road, which is also kind of a bright blue, I'm just giving it a mid-tone blue, kind of a, a neutral blue, and then bright red, um, working out patterns of light and dark, and then I'm working out the lamp posts and trees. Um, I'm imagining what it would be like for the sun to come popping through those trees. In the meantime, I'll get the, the ground, the foreground in. It's kind of a nice neutral tone, the ground, So up until this point, I'm painting pretty much the colors I am looking at. If I see a kind of a coral red, that's the color I'm going to reach for. Um, right now I'm painting the uh, ground and it is a sort of a putty brown, sort of a cool brown. Against the red, it, um, it becomes more... Uh, neutralized and um, I'm wanting to force the eye up to that contrast between the red and the really light green. Um, so the sun is out beautiful and I'm I guess I'm trying to get the drama from the tree right here and I'm trying to figure out the sky whether I should just leave it white. Uh, it's off, obviously, it's a little tiny bit darker than that nice, uh, that nice slice of light in the ground. I don't know if you can see. Still working. You can see how important it was to block in some really light tones um, to begin with to build from there. I mean, I could have put in some light greens and light oranges on top of what I'm working with, but it wouldn't have felt as fresh or as transparent as what, what I, the effect that I'm going for, because there is a lot of light um, coming through the trees. And, um, I, I like a lot of the fresh color. Um, it, I'm trying to pull it together. It's starting to get really cold, but the light is here, so I don't want to leave. Um, and a few people have stopped by to have some conversation, which is always good because when you look away from your painting and come back to it, you always see something that you could be uh, uh, developing or whatever. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to keep working for about 15 more minutes. And so this is what I walked away with at the end of a painting day. Um, I extended that lamp on the left um, so we didn't see the, the light bulb. I felt that was unnecessary and um, simplified things a little bit more. And uh, we'll take a, a picture here so that I could readdress just a few other things when I get back to my studio, but it was a good day. If you'd like to see more instructional videos, subscribe to my channel then hit the notification icon.
Thanks for watching. Thank you.